Hello guys, hello, hello and welcome. I hope this is recording me okay. I'm on the phone, as you can probably tell. <laughs> guys, listen, no, I'm out in the shed. Look, I wanted to say uh, Happy New Year to you all. I haven't spoken to none of you all in a while, you know. It's just been a sort of long January. And uh, December was long as well, between family being sick and the went holidays and stuff. So, And I haven't really been making any videos. Well, I made one video. In fact, I started making two videos. I made one video about the DJI FPV system. And I was swapping lenses in the wee camera. <laughs> I had the camera and all out. And I put the new lens in that I had ordered. And it wouldn't focus great. It was just a very cheap thing I bought off AliExpress. I was wanting to do. I've ordered a few more. And I just wanted to do some tests with different lenses. And I was in the middle of making a video. And I got to the testing stage. And uh, the next thing I went to try and focus. And it wouldn't focus. <laughs> it won't screw, it won't screw uh, down and far enough. To get the actual focus you can see it getting better but it's just a bit another half a mil so i might try and do something with it so guys i'm just out in the shed i wanted to say like i say uh happy new year to everybody i know it's a bit late i know it's february now but sure and then i thought well while i'm out in the shed here quickly i'm gonna start tidying up i thought i'll take you on a wee quick tour of my shed because i don't think anybody has really ever seen the shed and that time dave and carl was over from england they always expected the shed to be a lot bigger than what it actually was whenever they came in the scene it in real life, you know. So, guys, this is the wee shed where I make all my videos, as you can tell. And we'll turn the camera around. So, open the wall there. You can see QSL, them cards, like postcards are called QSL cards from people all around the world. It used to be in the amateur radio. You see the plane, I can't really fly it. I tried, I've managed to get flying it a few times. And it was like, I couldn't really fly it fancy. I hovered around or floated around a wee bit left and right and done a couple of circles and banks and I crashed it a few times and broke the propellers and I broke the mount and I've never flown a plane and I haven't bothered fixing it again. But I did manage to keep it in the air for a while. <laughs> uh, as you can see, this is a, a map of the world and all them pins used to be in the amateur radio and here in the corner I would have had a big radio set up sitting with all my big ham radios and outside of the HF antennas and stuff. And all them pins you can see on that, all around the world, is places where I spoke to people on these radios. And then these QSL cards, these things here, that's one of my favourite. They're QSL cards, they're like postcards just to confirm that you were actually talking to these people across the world, you know. And that's all they are. If you've never seen them before. But anyway, and then here's the the old radio link. I always used to use my favourite, the Soul Miller one. Some wee ham radios and stuff there for listening to local repeaters, but I think the parties are all dead on them. <laughs> to be honest with you. Aye, look at that, all dead. Flip's sake. Anyway, Superfly Flip Mode, that was one of my... It still is, actually, but it's analogue, but it's, that was my favourite quad. That was the favourite. It flew the best. That thing there, that was a beast. And I still do. I need to get back with it. Actually, I'm looking at this at the minute. I've got a problem with this. This is the camera, and this is a Foxier Predator V4, and it won't go into colour. I was actually going to go out a rip the other day with the analog gear because I hadn't been out for a while, and uh, the camera's black on me. It's like, what the hell? So, obviously, then you got the wee rooster there as well. Another uh, actually really good flying me machine, too. It is a really good flying machine, actually. I remember them things. I haven't flown them in ages. That there flies really well too. All Xing motors and all on them. You know, Xing by far the best. And then the iFlight flight controllers, that has a Mamba stack. That has the iFlight in it. You know, that's the old one there. That has a CL Racing in it. So this is the shed anyway. As you can see, that's my wee corner with all my crap in it. Down in there's all rubbish decks and stuff and them cases have batteries and stuff in them and then there's records over in there vinyl and I used to play the decks as well I had them out one time they're a cam direct drives this is the wee corner that's my soldering iron it's probably one of the best soldering irons I think I've ever bought it was money well spent brilliant all the different tips I know they're melted in there but I can pick them out but that there is probably my my favourite size tip there. That's a great wee iron. Honestly, that is a great wee iron. Came from Maplins. I think it only cost me 39 quid or something at the time. Brilliant job. You know, so that's what I used to do all my work. I've had that thing for years now. Touch wood. <coughs> Yo, 
down there. Props, all my propellers now. I remember there was a time I never had any propellers at all, and now I've got loads. I actually give a whole pile away. So I did as well. Props, props, props. More props in this box here, actually. There's more props than that. Props in there, props, boom. Straps, straps and stuff. More stuff. <laughs> but yet, I really need to get it tidied. Look, that's where I do my charging too. And I, I know people have said a lot of bad things about the B6AC. I've had that B6AC for donkey's years. That's the very first one I have. It's about 10 year old and it still works. And it still charges them batteries. And I can stick up, I'll stick four. 4 4s, four it'll charge a 4 5, 5s, you know, no problem. And just the drawers full of crap, more stuff, there's just stuff everywhere, broken props. And then this is the corner, it's where the camera sits. Whenever I'm sitting here doing my wee videos, you know. Right. So that's the shit guys, it's not bad. This is where I come, this is my wee man cave and this is where I come to do all my work, you know, so. Anyway, oh here, look, this is, this is what I've been flying now lately. This is what I've been flying, I meant to say. This is, I got myself a wee backpack after a year, celebrated and spent some money and bought this backpack. And actually, it's pretty good. It's the real AC, look, it holds my two DJ quads there the, with the air units there on the outside. The Nazgul, uh, the, the, not the Nazgul, the Titan DC5. And then the Rotorat HD1. And then I can take them off. Actually, I'll take them off a second here. Let you see. Let you see inside. Sorry, guys. Just bear with me. Ooh. So this is the real AC backpack. And it does the job for me. I don't know why I carry this stuff. I don't need it. <laughs> I've got a solder in, iron in there. And then I've got spare props, a couple of packets of spare props and a wrench in there. And I've more spare props for the three inch in there. More spare props in there and wee cables and stuff. You know, that's the front of it, but it's actually the back of it. Uh, well, whatever. It's weird the way it is because you open the inside, not the outside of the case. So this is inside the case. Not a lot in it. it, actually, well it holds quite a lot in there, a couple of USB cables and a couple of spare antennas and stuff in there. Nothing really much in this, because the stuff falls out of here, dead easy. Uh, batteries, I'm down to three, uh, three eight, or these are the small 854s's for the 3H quads. Uh, there's only three in that at the minute. And then there's the 4S batteries there as well. So it holds quite a lot, like many batteries in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine batteries in there, so it holds that as well. And then there's another battery in there, and the GoPro was in it, and what's that there? That's a wee tool kit with all the different bits in it and stuff, all the wee hex bits, and all in there, star heads, all sorts of bits, good wee kit, some sockets. That's pretty good. And then there we have the, I'm going to hook up now, see that's the Dal RC. Three inch up on the wall where you belong. Then here we have in here as well, the uh, Netflix DC3. Well, not a bad wee quad. I like, I actually like that. I take, it with, I take this with me to work every day. That's why I have it in here. Uh, to get the batteries charged, I managed to get a wee quick flight up to school today on my way home. I managed to call in and rip three batteries. You! <laughs> Lucky me. So anyway, that's the wee uh, DC3. And then you've got the DJI goggles, an old Mavic bag. And well, I don't need to get them out there. The DJI goggles sit in there. And then the cable stuff for it and the battery can go in the front in there. So it holds that. And then up here, then this is the the DJ controller at the top. So it carries everything I need. Do you know what I mean? Set these up here. We'll sort that out in a minute. So guys, yes, it carries everything I need, you know. It carries everything. But anyway, guys, this that was it. Just a wee quick video just to 
get me going because I haven't done nothing this year and I, I've been meaning to but I've just been busy like I say I did start that one on the DJI also done a I've done one on the NAS or is it the knee PAL the DAL prop the PAL 1 N1 propellers I made a video down in the park with a DC5 uh, I was going to show you that but then I just thought what was the point of doing a video on propellers my head's up my ass so I didn't put it on YouTube. I made the video and then I didn't even upload it. <laughs> so there you go. It was a bit crap. But anyway, uh, so there was that and then the other one. And then I'm just out here and I working on the wee. I want to see what the crack is. I was talking to Harvey Wong from uh, Fox here. And uh, he says to go into the menu. And I didn't try resetting it. But he says to me try resetting it two times. in the one menu and reset it in another menu. So... We want to go and try and reset it to see if it works, and if it doesn't work, we'll let them know again. I don't really want, I'm not really looking Fox here to replace the camera for me. I've had it for a while, and it's been through bumps and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's under a year old, like, but still, it's only a cat. What do you expect? It's going to get bust. So I'll have to buy a new one, probably. But anyway, besides the point. Right, guys, take care. I know this is a wee crap video. Maybe all a wee bit all over the place with me holding it and shaking on the three camera phone and stuff. You know, but anyway. Anyway, just I thought I'd try to get something up quick just for the channel. So guys, listen, take care, look after yourselves, we'll get you all again soon. And uh, hopefully I'll get this wee DJ I want. And as soon as the better weather comes to you, you'll get out. Because there, there's no time. The weather's crap. You get home from work at night and it's raining. It's raining outside now. And earlier on flying that, the DC Thalo, it was fun to get out flying. It was blowing a gale. It was windy as hell. You know, and it, just, it was fun, but it wasn't as fun as what it should be. And you were racing because it's getting dark. You know, so as soon as spring comes in the early morning, starting the clocks go forward and all again, and we get the better weather, then we'll get a few more videos really up on uh, YouTube. So in between times, there'll probably not be a lot of content, there'll not be a lot of stuff. But we'll see if I have anything coming up or a wee project or I'm doing some, I'll put it on the channel. Do you know what I mean? But at the minute, there are families first and a lot of stuff going on, you know. Right, guys, yo, take care. Have a new year, yo, and we'll get you all again soon. Bye bye, Jamal.